Verify that the real and imaginary parts of f of z satisfy Laplace's equation. Let's go ahead and work it out. So recall Laplace's equation says that if you take the second partial derivative of, say, g with respect to x, and you add that to the second partial derivative of g with respect to y, you end up with 0. So in this problem, we have to first find the real and imaginary parts of this function and then show they both satisfy this equation here. So let's go ahead and do that. So first we'll find the real and imaginary parts. So we'll do that by writing z as x plus iy. So we have f of x plus iy, and that's equal to x plus iy squared minus 2 times x plus iy plus 4. So this is equal to, let's take a shortcut, we can square the first term, so x squared. Then we can multiply these guys and double it, so plus 2xyi. And then squaring this last term and using the fact that i squared is equal to negative 1, we end up with minus y squared. Distributing the 2, we get minus 2x and then minus 2iy and we still have the positive 4. Now we have to group together all of the real terms. So we have x squared minus y squared minus 2x and then plus 4. And then factoring out an i from these guys we end up with plus i and then 2xy and then minus 2y. So this here is going to be the real part of f. So u of x, y is the real part of f. And this is the imaginary part of f, so v of x, y. So all we have to do now is show that Laplace's equation holds for both u and v. So first, let's go ahead and start with u. So first u. First u. So we'll take all the partials or all the, the, first, the second partial derivative of u with respect to x and with respect to y. Let's start with x. So del u, del x. So holding y constant, that's simply 2x minus 2, right? Because the derivative of y squared and 4 is 0. Taking the partial derivative again, we end up with 2. Now taking the partial derivative of u with respect to y, so now we're holding x constant, we end up with negative 2y, and then taking the second partial, we get negative 2. And then you'll notice that if we add the second partial derivative of u with respect to x to the second partial derivative of u with respect to y, we end up with, let's see, this guy here is 2, so 2 plus negative 2, and so this is equal to 0. And that holds for all x, y. So for u, we are done. Now, let's do v. Let me switch colors for v. Okay, so del v, del x, so taking the partial with respect to x, that's simply 2y. And then taking the partial derivative again with respect to x, that is, wow, it's 0. Okay. And then del v del y is equal to, let's see, so we're treating x as constant, so it's going to be 2x minus 2. And then taking the partial derivative again with respect to y, we end up with, oh wow, we get 0 again, which is good because that means that Laplace's equation holds for v. So then, if you take the second partial of v with respect to x, and you add it to the second partial of v with respect to y, you end up with 0 plus 0, and that's equal to 0, and this holds for all x, y. So we've checked that it holds for v as well. So Laplace's equation holds for both the real and imaginary parts of our original function f. So I hope that helped.